Day is less than a month away and ballots have been sent out. But for Chittenden County residents, there is one important item that won't be on your ballot that you got in the mail. NBC 5's Stephen Biddix is in the newsroom tonight to explain. Stephen. Brian, Chittenden Solid Waste District's materials recovery facility bond is something county residents can now vote on, but it's not on the ballot sent out by the Secretary of State's office. The Chittenden Solid Waste District wants to build a new materials recovery facility. The current MRF is nearly 30 years old. Um, it was built to handle 25,000 tons a year of recyclables, and it's processing about 47,000 tons, so it's far outstripped what it was designed for. CSWD is asking voters to approve a $22 million bond to help pay for the new facility. However, Chittenden County voters won't find it on the ballots they received in the mail. Changes in Act 60 election law make special election issues ineligible to be included on the ballot that the Secretary of State mailed to every voter. To receive a ballot, voters need to visit their local Chittenden County Clerk's Office, request one from the Vermont Voter Site, or go to polls on November 8th. If approved, the facility will bring new technology designed to help improve employee safety and efficiency. There are people picking things off a conveyor belt line like an I Love Lucy show. It's like crazy. They're picking things off and throwing them into bins. And it's a dangerous, dirty, um, monotonous job. CSWD officials say the MRF will help create new jobs. I think mechanization would improve worker safety and possibly even increase job satisfaction because now you have people who are fixing and creating these machines rather than people uh, at the lowest level of paid job like picking materials off a line. Now if voters say yes, construction is scheduled to begin in 2023 and be up and running in 2025. Live in the newsroom, Stephen Biddix, NBC5 News.